peoples, hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm excited for today. As you saw in the last vlog, we went and got all of our shopping done for a little keto meal prep that we wanted to do. I've been wanting to do this forever. And since my mom is on the bandwagon of being able to want to eat a little bit healthier, get a little trimmed down for the up and coming wedding, I thought this is the perfect time and she's more than willing to come over and help because many hands make light work and I, we, there's like three of us, like my babe was like, yeah, I'll help you make it. And I was like, <sighs> winning because it makes it so much easier. It makes it so much easier when you can get like a group of people together or a few of your friends and meal prep all together and then divvy out the meals with everybody. It's perfect. We're gonna get started on that. My mom's gonna come on over and we're gonna, we're gonna have a good time in the kitchen. It's been kind of a, listen to these birds. You're night. They're like in the rain. It rained. This beautifulness. Look, we kind of moved our little thing. It like made a little, <laughs> little design on the yard. So we've been trying to move those every so often so it doesn't create that. I hope. If not, we're gonna have a really cool design in our front yard. What a blessing that we had rain. And get this. So I was like, I talked to my mom. I was like, it is pouring over here. And she's like, what? She lives right down the road from me. Is it raining at your house? She's like, no. It's not raining at all. And I was like, what? It's pouring, it's thundering over here and everything. I was like, whoa, that is so. We're just gonna say that God was like, hey, we're just gonna water your lawn today. Happy Sunday. <laughs> That's a little thing, even though it look, it looks like, man, those clouds are so cool. I love clouds. Who loves clouds? I was one of those kids. Can we can we get me a focus on them? There they are. They're definitely getting dark up in there though. I was one of those kids in school that I went and bought all of the topical type studies. So like I'd buy one on clouds. My brother got one like on birds and on insects. I got one on dogs. Like it was just, I loved learning about a particular subject and like researching it to its like greatest extent. Who else was like that? Did you guys like that? I was obsessed with clouds. Cumulonimbus, the stratus. It's really all really what I retained, but I remember being obsessed with them and I'd be driving around and I'd be like, mom, look, that is a, I was that kid. So that's what we are going to get started and done today. I'm very excited. I think it will make my week a lot better, a lot easier. Yes. And leave me some comments down below if you've got any good recipes, low carb, keto that you would like to share. I'm always in the hunt for them, um, especially like desserts and stuff too. I'm not really making any of those today. We're gonna be making more of our main dishes, lunches, and breakfast. Uh, we've got some bagels we're gonna do. We've got some casseroles, like a cauliflower um, beef casserole. We've got a keto soup. Um, what else do we got? We've got some breakfast bites, like with sausage and eggs and bacon in it, like a quick pop and go. We're gonna maybe try a meatloaf which should be fun. So it's gonna be a good time. All right, let's go. I'm gonna get everything set up kind of in the kitchen, get things kind of rocking and rolling, and hopefully my mom will be here and we'll get started. I'm excited. I hope you're What you think, it looks good? Edge here today. So what's going on? You had a catastrophe at your house. I did. My my washer broke. So here I am. But my job today is to be the official taste tester for all these recipes. So far, very good. What have keto. you tried so far? 
I tried the cheesy ground beef and cauliflower. Oh, that was really good. That was and good. then I tried some soup. It was very good. Ah, okay. Chicken. Mm -hmm. The chicken soup's good. I'm waiting for some more though because I'm home alone and the cooking is zero. My cook's gone. Okay. <laughs> You have your own cook, aka Aunt Cheryl. Auntie, Auntie does all the cooking. I really want to make a food in a crown. From cardboard. Yes. You realize we're supposed to be helping the girls right now. Yeah. You think we should take a break and make this? Yeah. Well, now, what did you see this on that made you think that you want to have a cardboard shield and sword? And the crown. Did you watch it somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Where did you watch it? <laughs> More the merrier. More the merrier vlogs. <laughs> yes. Thanks, guys. You made work for us. It's okay. It'll be fun. Good stuff. You want to do this? Yeah. I'll run we're the race. We're going to draw it out and I'll go get some scissors because we're going to cut it out. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, the store one. Nice. That I could be brave. Is there what anything do you think? Does it look like a little on the radio? Beautiful. Turn it up loud and let me know how we used to be before anyone could have you. All right, guys, we are in the thick of it. We have things turning and burning. We've got a. I don't even know what this this is. What is this called? Bites, Breakfast bombs. bombs. Breakfast, Breakfast bombs. bombs. We've made a casserole and cheese thing. We've made soup. We hired some help. <laughs> He's making some scrambled eggs. We got sausage. We've got bacon. All the things. But it's going very well. We need a meatloaf. Oh, and there's a meatloaf in the oven. <laughs> Look at this. Killing it. Look at this. Look at her. Okay, you barely saw that before the fog came in. I can't see. Um, but it's going very well. Um, and like I said uh, earlier, is that we are trying to. One is be able to have healthy food available. Have healthy food where you don't have to take a whole lot of time out of your day to prepare it and it's ready to go. Um, like my mom, she works. Right, mom? Yeah. She works every full day time at 5 every, 30, at 530. every day. So for her to be able to be able to grab and go and have something that's healthy and ready for her to just take to work with her is perfect. For me and my babe, we don't necessarily have to stop midday on what we're trying to get done and um, be able to have something that's healthy. And then also, if you are cooking in bulk, a lot of times you can save money doing it that way. So we're trying to be a little bit more frugal. You know, with everything that's going on around us, we want to make sure that we're being very, very smart with our funds and, but also still be able to try to eat as healthy as we possibly can and to trim it up. Yeah, trim it up. Trim it up. Quarantine. Trim Not it up. Friendly. We got a wedding coming up, guys. We got to, we got to, we got to be, we got to be trim and fit. It. So, and just being able to feel better. We just want to feel better too. So, anyway, that's what we got going on. All the things. Mother-in-law's here. She's doing laundry. It's a good time. Back to the battle. It's a Back good time. Back to the battle. The battle is raging. Oh well. But we had an emergency. Pause in the game. Don't have enough ingredients. What do we need? Sour cream and something else? Sour cream and what else? Sausage. Sausage and some. We yeah. need to go to Nana's house to stop oh by and get God. a pan. We got a lot of stuff. I think we'll just go to Safeway though. Oh, That'll are work. we? I think we'll just do Safeway. Okay. okay. Save the day. Be the hero. Groceries. Let's teleport back home, shall we? Can we teleport back home? Three, two, one. There we go. I kind of got a few other fun things too. Oh, it's aggressive. Thanks, babe. Yep. Yeah, 
look at the bacon powder went fluffy. Those are called battle wounds here. Yeah, battle wounds. We're getting it done though. Like I'm inside a And what's in this? It has almond flour, eggs, bacon, sausage, bacon powder. Did it's I say eggs? A little crust on the bottom. Nice. Oh my. That is, and cheese. Has cheese as well. Mm. Very good. Very tasty. My wife is finishing up killing it in the kitchen. I helped out as much as I could, but between her and mom, they made, it's probably two weeks worth of meals which is awesome. So we've got a bath getting drawn for her. She definitely deserves it tonight. One thing I wanted to talk about, maybe get your guys feeling is, um, you know, we've made some big expenditures this year. We've, we've spent some money on the lawn. We, we got a, but we got a quote last year and we saved all year for it. And we, so we had that budgeted. Uh, I had to buy my truck recently, which killed me, but I really need it for work. I mean, a technical is a business expense. Just the overall feeling that I'm getting is there seems like there's a lot of uncertainty and and we've been trying to find ways to be wise with our money, like ways to save money. So that's why we're experimenting with like doing some some food stuff to see if is this is this a cheaper way to go if we meal prep and that way there's no waste. Um, we, you guys saw all the wood that we got, so we got a whole bunch of wood out in the trailer. We got it at a reduced price. It is not dried, but we're hoping it can dry enough to be able to burn this year, and I think it will. So that should be able to save us some money. But we're trying to find ways of creative ways to be able to save money uh, this year because I don't know. There's just, oh, I just don't know. I think it's wise to, to plan for the worst case scenario because if you do and, uh, the worst actually happens, you're kind of prepared for, at least mentally. If things don't, you're like, praise God, this is awesome. I, I don't, sometimes people will, will think, well, I'm just gonna trust God and everything will work out. And we do trust God and we do feel that things will work out in the end. But he also does mention in the Bible a lot of, uh, you know, planning and hey, let's, you know, Joseph, let's put some, Let's put some food away for, for seven years. There's just a lot of principles in the Bible that, that talk about planning ahead and you know, for that day of need and making sure you have enough oil in your lanterns. And so for us, it's kind of like, you know, if we have enough for us, we can have enough for others, we can have enough to share, we can have enough to help and be a blessing. What's your general thought here? Do you feel that we need to, that things are just gonna completely blow over with this current pandemic? and the whole situation in the world and the United States, or do you feel that uh, things are gonna go easy? You think things are gonna get harder? What what should we do? What's your overall feeling? For us, I just kind of, we, we're, we're kind of sort of plan people anyway for planning for, you know, we're like prepper lights, you know? We're here in Alaska, in case you have the food shuts down, you know, you have not, you don't have trucks running through for whatever reason, natural disasters, you know, being prepared for that. But I just kind of have a sense that we need to hold on to our money as much as possible and uh, and just be wise with it so we can not only take care of our family, we can take care of other people. So anyway, I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts on that. But. guacamole that was a lot of work uh it was fun it was something cool that we could do together on a sunday afternoon i thought that was super cool sorry if you can hear this fan we got a fan can you see we got a fan we haven't had a fan in here and my babe was getting super hot when he was sleeping i was like oh babe i'll go pick out a fan and it's really cute i like it we are good done let me go show you my fridge yeah let me show you 
a lot of dishes. They're all done, they're all clean, but holy guacamole, we tried to clean as we go. We made over eight different things. Boom. All the meals, got breakfast bagels. This is actually a full casserole that I still need to kind of divvy out. Our soups, our little breakfast bites, all the things. Oh my goodness, I'm so stinking excited. We'll see how this all goes. I hope well. Quite a bit of work. We didn't really start until super late, to be fair. As you can see, right now it's 11 o'clock at night. Um, but it was good, it was fun. I, I'll, I'm really happy. If nothing else, I'm happy that my mom has some good food to be able to take to her to work. That is, that was a lot of the motivation behind it because I know she's wanting to eat healthy and I know it's not always easy, especially like learning to cook again for like one person. It's very hard. So I'm really happy for that. So hopefully she'll be able to enjoy that tomorrow as she goes to work and throughout the rest of the week. So anyway, I think we're gonna call this one a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys like this, this kind of video. I know it was kind of all over the place. I am going to put all of the links to the recipes that we made. I will put them in the description below. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking about the cauliflower cheesy mac deal. Um, that one I will just have written out. There's really not a whole lot of instructions, Bert just kind of came up with that one on his own. Sorry about that. I bet you if you Googled it, or maybe I'll try to find a, a comparable comparison recipe that maybe you guys can follow. So I will link everything down below. If you make any of these meals, please tag us on Instagram so we can see you guys and if you made them. So anyway, I know it's a little bit different content than what you're used to, but if this was something I've been wanting to do for our family and for my mom. So I'm super excited we got to be able to do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. YouTube channel. Be